Hello, I'm Georgie Barrett and this is your Week in Tech. Ridesharing platform Blah Blah Car has closed a $200 million Series D investment round. On-demand delivery service QuickUp, which delivers everything from groceries to fashion, has closed a multi-million pound funding round from Delivery Hero and Global Founder Partners. Bucks, the casual trading app that is looking to bring the fun back to finance, has raised a $1.9 million round from early stage funder and gaming specialist Initial Capital. The app, which already has over 200,000 users, teaches people how to trade stocks using its own virtual currency. News Corp has acquired London-based social video advertising company Unruly in a deal worth £114 million. Pounds. Launched in 2006, Unruly distributes, publishes and tracks video advertising across multiple channels, from social media platforms to mobile apps. The role of tech in helping the disadvantaged made headlines this week. Bethnal Green Ventures unveiled the 10 startups to graduate from its 12-week Tech for Good Accelerator programme. The companies are tackling some of the greatest social challenges facing the UK, from high rent costs to caring for the elderly. UNICEF also revealed the 10 ideas selected for the final stage of the Wearables for Good Design Challenge. Projects include a malaria alert bracelet for infants, a water purification band and an ear-worn pneumonia monitor. And, a little bit closer to home, Hackney Council has launched its second health innovation fund as it looks to make the area around Tech City a healthier and happier place. The council is offering grants of up to £30,000 from its £250,000 pot to projects using creative ways to tackle issues including obesity, sexual health and substance misuse. A paralysed man has become the first person to experience the sensation of touch via a prosthetic hand connected to his brain. The procedure, developed by DARPA in the US, saw doctors attach wires from the patient's sensory cortex to his mechanical hand. Not only is he able to manipulate the prosthetic hand with his thoughts, he also can register when it's touched. Our download of the week is Fixer, a free mobile ticketing app for nightlife and events which provides an easy way to book, manage and access your social life. It allows people to see what's on and access both public and private events. Nightclubs, event organisers, promoters and friends in the same social network can now put their events in people's pockets. And finally, Mark Zuckerberg has announced that Facebook will soon be adding a dislike button. In a Q&A session, the founder said that the mechanism would be a way for people to express empathy for posts when clicking like may feel a little bit insensitive. A lot of times people share things on Facebook that are sad moments in their lives um, or are, are tough cultural or social things and often people will tell us that they don't feel comfortable pressing like because like isn't the appropriate sentiment when, um, when someone lost a loved one or is talking about a very difficult issue. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and please follow us on Twitter.